Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jim Dre Westbrook, Worth the Weight Guy here, and it's day 25 of my 30 days a hashtag purity. We are almost done. We only got five more days of me talking about my book for 30 days straight. This is something that I wanted to do uh, to not just let you guys uh, in on what the book is about, uh, but I wanted to share with you uh, my experiences as I wait for God, my experiences practicing celibacy uh, and trying to be pure every single day that I'm here on earth. So that's kind of why you see me talking about purity, uh, talking about my book, which is hashtag purity, save yourself. So if you guys have not checked this out, I'm, I'm going to need you to check this joint out. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon Kindle for the ebook, as well as my personal site, shop.worththewayguy.com so check it out even if you're not down with it and you know somebody this book is for them it'll do wonders it'll help you and it'll make sure that you continue on that path that if you're waiting you can stay waiting and if you're not waiting you can get on it and understand your total work cool all right so that's the book and on today uh, i want to talk about changing your scenery and with that being said i have to change my scenery as i always talk to you guys i'm not perfect yes i may be worth the way guy yes i may be a virgin but i'm not perfect i'm a human i am a sinner i have made mistakes in my life and will continue to make them but i have god on my side and he's the one that makes me clean. He's the one that I strive for greatness. I strive for achievement. I strive for purity through him. And today we're going to talk about changing your scenery. So I live in Las Vegas. And it's funny, a lot of people say, well, man, how in the world do you live in Las Vegas doing what you do? And I just kind of laugh and chuckle and say that this it's really through God. It's really because of God. Uh, Las Vegas is one of those places where whatever you want to do, just think about it right now. Whatever you want to do, you can do it here in Las Vegas. No judgment, whether it's legal or illegal. And I know a lot of people won't like me saying that, but that's the truth. Vegas is one of those places where whatever you're trying to get your hands on, literally, you can make it happen here. So being here and being worth the way guy and being a Christian, you know, a believer, having God in my life every single day can be challenging with all of the extra stuff that you have going on here in Las Vegas. For a lot of people I uh, don't know that I've always had a quote unquote real job as I was an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years now I've always wanted to become an entrepreneur. It's been a lifelong goal for me. But I've always held down the job to pay the bills, take care of myself, my family members, uh, just people that I love and cherish. And one of those jobs, and actually was my last job, was to be in the Las Vegas uh, nightlife in day club industry so if anybody's ever been to vegas and you've ever went to a pool party you ever went to a nightclub you might have run into me uh, i actually might have run into you uh, because i was a day club and nightclub busser and i did that for three years three long years i've worked at multiple properties and definitely with the day club uh, because that was the last job that i had that scenery is crazy um, you know being around that every single day was something else I mean literally I could write a movie about the things I've seen that uh, the, the atmosphere I was around uh, you have to go to one of the pool parties to understand it, what I'm talking about but on today it was very funny around this time last year I was at the pool and shout out to EBC Encore Beach Club so anybody that's still there you know I love you guys and I knew that it would be my last year. It was almost like a basketball player playing his last year and, and knowing that he was gonna go out on his terms. 
uh, no matter how good or bad the year was. That was me last year. And I had to make some real life decisions because those jobs, and it sounds like, you know, you're a buster, you literally are the scum of the earth. When it comes to making money, uh, you can make a nice living. And that's all I'll say. I'm not going to go into anybody's pockets, uh, let alone my pockets, but you can make a nice living. And a lot of those jobs keep people there, you know, too long. Uh, you can be up in age in your 30s, even your 40s, and still hold those jobs and make a great living. But for me, I always knew that there was a higher purpose, a higher calling. And for me to get that 100%, I had to change my scenery. And, 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 and that's just goal-oriented. As far as the physical and the things that I would see on the day-to-day -day basis, like I said, I'm at the pool. So you're seeing half-naked, just people in general. But when it comes to me as a man, I'm seeing half-naked women every single day every day and there's alcohol there's music you know there's a lot of things at these venues where you talk about opportunity anything that remember i said anything that you want to put your hands on literally you can do so and when you see that time and time and time again every single day it can be a bit much just for I mean, you could be a savage and out here in these streets and that still be like, man, this is crazy. But for somebody like me, it took a toll on me. I mean, things that I would see, things that I would hear, you know, a lot of mixed emotions. And I felt that I needed to change my scenery in order to really get everything I felt God wanted for me. So I made the executive decision to walk away from the money, to walk away from the fun, to walk away from the temptation that was there. And I had to look myself in the mirror and have some faith and pray about it, that even though I didn't know my next move, other than having the Live at Your Own Pace store, I didn't know what would happen. But soon as I made that move, God made a way and he made a lot of things happen within my life. And I appreciate that. But in order for all those things to happen, I had to change my scenery. I had to get a different viewpoint of my situation and what God was actually doing within my life. Because it's not always about the money. You know, you shouldn't stay in bad situations or situations that may compromise you in the end just because you're getting paid. You might have to change your scenery. You shouldn't have to stay in a certain relationship that may be bad for your heart, bad for your mind, bad for your soul, bad for your body. You might have to get out. I think you might have to change your scenery as well. And this message is for anyone out there that may feel that you need to change your scenery, see something new, experience something special. Get exactly what you're supposed to get out in life. But you have to take that chance. You have to have faith, not just in yourself, but in God, that he will deliver and help you change your scenery. I know that it will happen because it happened for me. There are things in my life that I did not see because there were so many other things in front of me. But I was there for a different reason. However, now I'm somewhere else in my life, and that's only because of God. He allowed me to not just change my scenery, but change my heart, my spirit, my mind, my soul. Everything that's going on with me, it was because of him. And I want anybody else out there that's stuck right now, that you're handling your business, you're taking care of what you need to take care of, but you in here know you need to change that scenery do it. Ask them. Talk to them. We, talk, we, 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 we talked about it this week. You got to talk to them. You got to ask for it. He will help you change that scenery. And trust me, just that might be exactly what you need. It may not sound like much, 
but trust and believe when it's all said and done, the simple fact that you did change your scenery will do wonders within your life. And that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to drop that gem. I know it's pool season, so I'm not against going to the pool. Y'all can have fun, but I just want to share my story when it comes to uh, what I had to do in order to get what I felt God wanted me to get. I had to change my scenery. I had to, you know, see different things. I had to see more of him and less of uh, what's out there when it came to temptation, lust, sin. I had to change my scenery and now I see crystal clear. I see with uh, better vision than what my eyes uh, have right now because I wear contacts and I'm really, really blind. God has been able for me to see 2020 and to see things clearly. And I really, really appreciate that. And I'm so grateful that he wants that for me. So, all right, y'all, that's all I got. It's a late night. I got a few things to do, then I'm going to lay it down. So on tomorrow will be day 26. That's four more days. And, uh, yeah, we'll be done with this thing. So I thank you guys for all your love, all your support. I hope that everybody has a blessed night. And be safe, and I will holler at you guys on tomorrow. All right, y'all. Peace.